Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. I'm Mathieu Stavik from 2DS Lab. I'm part of the team as a data specialist and developer. First of all, I, I wish you really enjoy this uh, Daiwa Partner Day as we do. It's uh, really exciting to see new products and new ideas. So, uh, 2DS Lab is a French company. We are based near the Belgian border, not very far from Lille. Maybe you know this place. We have a very simple philosophy. We want to contribute to a safer and smarter world, but with the help of ethical uh, artificial intelligence that respect freedom and privacy. Today, we'll discuss about our very last product called Sargon. Sargon is a machine that can detect firearms uh, that appears on CCTV feeds from a DUS camera. I hope you'll enjoy this presentation. If you have any question, feel free to use the chat section. We will answer you. And now it's time to see um, why we made this software, what was the challenge, and who can benefit from it. At very first, we are artificial intelligence makers dedicated to security and safety. But what is all about? What is artificial intelligence and deep learning? Let's make a very simple test. Guess what fruit is it? I'm quite sure everybody saw a red apple because our brain filtered and classified what we just saw. Our brain can quickly generalize, even if the image is from poor quality, masks always glitches. Okay, now let's see something else. Again, some more apples. But how to describe this fruit to a computer as it's so diverse? It looks for him like tons of other things. Our eyes benefit from thousands of years of evolution, and we have a powerful brain. We can process each frame of what we see instantly. But again, for a computer, it's quite challenging. But we have one major drawback. We can focus only one point at a time, and our peripheral vision is blurry. And even more, let's make a simple test. How many white dots do you see? Okay, it's quite an unfair test for a human being. But for these tasks, computers are excellent. Artificial intelligence mimics the brain's ability to filter and classify things. Here at 2DS Lab, we train such systems in order to help us securing people and premises. We made, for example, Digicop, a cloud-based solution for pedestrian detection that uses deep learning and artificial intelligence. So, where is located the magic of it? How do we create those artificial intelligences? You need, of course, some tricky mathematical things, but you need as well a very large amount of data. Deep learning networks are data gluttons. Think, for example, about 10,000 images just for a quick prototype, for drafting an ID. Let's say detecting guns. It means finding 10,000 images, tag them precisely, and load them into a training machine a very large training machine for months. By tagging them precisely, I mean you have to tell the computer where is located the gun for every image, 10,000 times. So very soon you're facing problems. Where to find those images? Scrapping images from search engine is forbidden. Do I have right to use those images? Talking about privacy? And more than that, how much time will it take to tag precisely 10,000 images? It sounds like a massive task. And if it was not enough, accuracy is directly linked to the number of samples you are going to use. And it very looks like exponential function. Even using uh, data scientist tricks like data augmentation, you'll never reach 1 million of samples. You have to find something else. 
And because one day we decided to follow a crazy intuition, we ended uh, developing a new way to get data from objects. As long as we can have a physical access to the object, small or big, it doesn't matter, we can uh, obtain a very massive amount of perfect quality data. So that's how we ended with 1.5 million samples for the deep learning network of Sargo. Those curves will mean something for specialists only, I guess. So if you have any question, feel free to ask us. So we took samples from approximately 350 different firearms of around the world because we wanted Sargon to be able to be deployed anywhere. Encountering a weapon, for example, from ex-USSR or uh, pump action shotgun, or they are more, for example, numerous in USA. We used statistics about weapon and we ordered them from uh, common to less common. So we incorporated uh, every uh, firearms that was uh, for us, as we are uh, shooters, so we, we know a lot about weapons, what was useful for our software. We incorporated as well some gesture analyze in Sargon. Maybe you noticed on those images, but when a gun is inside of a holster, it may be a cop, so it don't trigger an alert by default. You can change it, of course, if you want uh, Sargon to trigger uh, every time. And keep in mind that only one image of detection is enough to launch an alert. After a lot of time at the shooting range, and after a lot of coffee, we incorporated the Sargon software and its deep learning network into a machine that looks like a PC, but very specific, and it's what I'm going to show you. One Sargon machine is capable to process real-time up to seven feeds from the US camera. We wanted to keep the installation process fairly simple. You have to install the Sargo machine on the same network as the cameras. Then you enter your secured credential into the machine. And with the secured credential, Sargo will grab the feed of the camera up to, up to seven cameras and we'll watch them real-time in search of uh, someone brandishing a weapon, brandishing a firearm. And as soon as a Sargon sees uh, firearms or someone brandishing a firearms on the live feeds, he will send an alert to any operator programmed in the system. We have, of course, our own API. So with the alert, you'll have all the details, you'll have information, you'll have pictures. And API mean we can integrate any existing installation or any uh, security protocols. We discovered that a Sargo machine turns stairwell cameras into firearms detectors. And remember, just a few milliseconds of detection are enough to launch an automated a message or alert through our API. It's an unobtrusive way to increase safety and it can be deployed on premise or from cloud as long as the internet connection is good enough. Where a Sargon machine can be useful? Think about pop-up events, a festival in open air, Christmas markets, open air concerts, international summits, uh, why not Olympics, premises and buildings uh, like uh, theater, stadiums, administrations, parking lots, schools, university embassies, subway, train stations, airports, uh, banks, uh, high-end hotels, and shops prone to robbery or attacks. And as well, securing uh, very strategic sites. Smarter together, so here is uh, some of uh, our joint achievements. 
we, for example, developed a system based on the direct cameras called DigiCop that had state-of-the-art artificial intelligence duct lifting and very high-end pedestrian detection. It's based on our knowledge of deep learning. It's compatible with any DIA camera that include uh, this uh, formidable software called VSense from uh, Daiwa. Uh, we think it's a very good piece of software. And it's cloud-based, uh, meaning that we can serve any customers anywhere. We developed as well Defense by 2DS Lab. It's a powerful perimeter protection system, artificial intelligence powered, based on our deep learning uh, knowledge. It's like a virtual crowd capable of automations and actions without any human interventions, meaning it can be deployed uh, on empty sites, empty premises, but as well uh, for uh, enterprises or uh, uh, storage facilities, shops, and so on. As for this kind of application, uh, firmware stability is very important. We choose to work with the uh, US camera as we were already very happy for DigiCop. Uh, Defense by 2DS Lab is uh, very um, liked by our customers because it offers them a new way to secure a complicated site. We work all the time to improve our products and to find a new way to satisfy our customers. So uh, we can't wait to try the new line of alarm system from Dera. We are going to add some more weapons in Sargon Think about knives, for example. Every Sargo machine will benefit from it through updates. And we'll try to make this world a safer place. How to contact us? Uh, the traditional way, by uh, sending us an email or by visiting our website. Or just grab your smartphone, scan this QR code and you will have every detail about me. I really hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you for your attention and have a great Daiwa Partner Day.